The first thing that I'll show you in Link is how to authenticate. Occasionally, your users will have to type in their Active Directory password, but generally, they will use Face ID or Touch ID. Here, I'll tap on the Link tile, and Link will authenticate me with Face ID. Now you're looking at the home screen of Link. You can see that in the first row, I have my document repositories. We're an official partner with iManage and NetDocuments and with OpenText eDocs, which we'll release later this year. You can also add OneDrive and Windows file shares to Link. In the second row, you see that I have two email tiles. We support traditional Outlook and Outlook Office 365. Then in the third row and below, we have a variety of web resources, things on your intranet. They can be applications or even pages. So for example, I'll tap on this Compass portal. This is a law firm portal. In this case, it's built on SharePoint Office 365. We support SharePoint 2010 and up. It's fully interactive. Some of our law firms, for example, surface client matter billing through the portal. I'll exit. Along the bottom, I want to point out that the middle icon is My Files. I'll tap on it. My Files is your encrypted storage within Link for offline and online access. So anytime I open a file, I can save it here to work on it later. Or if I open a file, it will save here automatically so that I'll have a copy of it later. In the lower left, I'll tap the plus mark, you see that you could add an audio, video, photo, photo roll, blank note, line note, or external document here in My Files. So you could take a deposition or take a video, and then you can actually import that to your DMS or OneDrive or Windows File Share. I'll go back to the home screen now. I'll tap on the iManage tile. Here you see the top level in iManage, and you'll see familiar folders like My Matters, My Matter Worklist, My Document Worklist, Checked Out Documents, Favorites, and Workspaces, and whatever DMS you're using, these top level folders are configurable, so they will be the folders that you use frequently, and the folders will be named as you name them in your firm. I'm currently in the folder view. I also will tap on the search view. Every DMS has its own search engine, and since we use the official APIs, you'll get the same search that you have in your desktop search. Let me go back to the folder view. Now I want to show you opening a file, so I'll go to this workspace and file lookup. Here I could either type in client and matter and go to a workspace. I'm going to tap on files, and I'm going to enter a doc ID and tap Lookup. This Lookup takes me directly to the Doc ID, so it's a quick way to get to a document, and now I'll tap on it to open it. Here you see the first aspect of our new multitasking, which is that the file opens automatically in half of the screen, and you do have a slider. You can always adjust the size of the screen that you want. No matter where you open a document in Link, it opens in our viewer. And one of the first things you can see is that if the document has tracked changes, they will be visible immediately in the document. Along the bottom, you can see that there are thumbnails. If you tap the document, the thumbnails will go away. I'll show you some of the other features in the next document. Now I'm going to go back to the top level of I Manage, and I'll tap My Matters. I tap on Client Matter R.J. Reynolds versus U.S. Department of Justice. And I'll tap on the Pleadings folder. Here I want to open two files. So I'm going to tap the radio buttons beside Easy Spirit versus Skechers and Walden versus Shin. And now across the top, I have four new menu items. Compare, Email, Save to My Files within Link, or Open. I want to open, so I'll tap that. And now you see another aspect of our multitasking. Three files are now open on the right-hand side. The first one that I opened, which is the bylaws. 
the second which is Easy Spirit versus Skechers, and Walden versus Shin. Let's look at Easy Spirit versus Skechers, and I'll make it a little larger. This gear is the settings for page views. You can set the page transitions, the scrolling, the appearance, and Link will remember your settings. Along the top here, I have an index for documents. It shows me my bookmarks. These are my annotations. I can scroll through them, and if I tap on one, I can go to a particular annotation. The next icon is jump to a page, bookmark, search the document by term, and the last one is grid view. This is a great feature for people who are reviewing large documents. In this view, you'll see that I have an all button, an annotated button, which will show me just the annotated pages, and a bookmarked button. That will take me to all of the bookmarked pages. I'll go back to the page view. Now I'd like to annotate page 25, so I'll go to page 25, tap go. Here's page 25. I'd like a clear page, so I'm going to tap in the white space to make the thumbnails go away. Now in order to annotate or edit, I tap the paper and pencil icon. And since this is a PDF, it immediately brings up my PDF menu. And I'll show you a few of the popular features. Of course, one is line highlighter, so I'll tap on the A. And you can see over here the color is pink and I want green. I can change the opacity. And I'll highlight a few lines. Another popular feature is this magic tool. The magic tool will allow me to outline a rectangle and then it will straighten it out for me. I have strike through, squiggly, underline, and underline. I'll take the squiggly underline and underline this section. In text markup, you can add a note. In insert, you can add a stamp. So for example, I can add preliminary results here. I can also quickly set the time and the date. And although I wouldn't use it in this particular document, I want you to see how easy it is to sign a document. I tap this signature icon, tap on my signature, and place it and size it in the document. So it's really easy to sign agreements from your phone or your tablet with Link. One of my best practices is that every time I annotate a page, I bookmark it. So here I'll tap the bookmark icon. And now when I turn the thumbnails back on, you'll see that this page is annotated and has a bookmark. To take action on this document along the lower right, I can air print, email, upload to DMS, or save locally to my files. Or the other option is I can tap the X in the upper left. Now this gives me a menu that I can choose from. The choices are number one, check in the annotated PDF. Two, send the annotated files as an email attachment. Three, keep these changes in my files, the local storage and link, or discard these annotations. And what I want to show you is check in the annotated PDF. So I'll tap the first one. And this is my upload screen. It shows me the current name, the new name, which I could change if I wanted to, and then my check-in defaults are shown. This particular default for this law firm is check-in, which means check-in as the same doc ID and create a new version. The lawyer could also choose to import as a new doc ID, or the lawyer could choose to not create a new version. We work with you to set these defaults to the most commonly used workflows at your firm. So here I want to check in as a new doc ID and create a new version, and I tap the upload button in the upper right. 
The green check mark tells me that my document is checked in. I'll tap on it to show you. I'll go to page 25. And there's the page that I just edited and bookmarked. Now I'd like to email this file to a colleague. One way I could do it would be to tap the envelope icon from the open document in the lower right. Another way to do it is to tap the ellipsis menu to the right of the file name. Now I can choose to email a copy, such as a PDF, or I can choose to email a link. That means to email a DMS link, for example, email an NRL or an iManage link or an eDocs link. I'll tap email link. You can see that Easy Spirit versus Sketchers is attached as a DMS link, and all I have to do is fill it in to send it. I can tap the exclamation point to mark it as urgent, and then tap the paper airplane to send it. I'll close a couple of files by tapping X. Now I want to go to email. To navigate to other apps, just tap the home tab, which brings you to this home screen, and here I'll tap demo email. The first email is the Easy Spirit versus Sketchers email, which I just wrote. I'll open it. And you can see there's the Easy Spirit versus Skechers NRL. I tap on it, go to page 25. And there you can see that link opens a DMS link very quickly, and you can see any track changes or any annotations in the attachment. I'll close that now. Here's an email from my client. It's got a court orders attachment and instructions from my client. I want to compare this version that my client has edited to the version in DMS. So I tap the triangle, I select compare to. Here I can choose whether I want word track changes or inline text to show up in the comparison. And I tap select original file. This gives me an overlay to choose the document repository that I want to compare the file to. So I'll tap I manage. Go to my document work list. Here's the court orders version in DMS that I've been working on, so I'll tap it to compare the two, the attachment and the version in DMS, and then I tap the check mark. You see that my file has opened on the right. I'll make it a little larger. The first page is the comparison page and shows me the deletes and edits from my client. And now I can look at the actual changes from my client. I want to mark this up and send it to my colleague, so I'll tap the paper and pencil icon. I could either edit or annotate. I want to annotate, so I tap annotate PDF. I'm going to add an arrow, and then I'm going to go to the pencil point, and I'm going to say no, and then I'm going to say keep, and I'm going to write a note that says please edit. Having done that, I want to send it to my colleague to work on, so I tap the X. So here's a menu with my choices. Compose a new email with the document attached. Reply to this email from my client with the document attached. Check in or save. Keep these changes in my files, local storage, or discard. I want to send this to my colleague, so I'm going to choose number one, compose a new email with the document attached. Link prepares an email with the compared version of the two plus my markup attached here. And all I have to do is add the two and the subject and send it to my colleague. In summary, let me recap about multitasking in Link. First, I'll tap on email. I'll tap on a file to open it. Then I'll tap on the Home tab and tap on one of my document repositories. Here I'll choose iManage, go to my document work list, open two files, so I have three files open on the right, 
DMS is open on the left. Email is just a tap away in the tab. And I can tap on the Home tab to open the portal or intranet. With Link, you have two screens to work in and multiple live tabs in each screen.